This was a day of excitement and colour, with all the pomp and ceremony you'd expect for such a magnificent royal occasion. The Queen appeared deep in conversation throughout with the Duchess of Northumberland and the Deputy Lord Lieutenant Alan Shearer, with the Duke of Edinburgh always close behind. They spent half an hour in the castle meeting many of the carers and volunteers who do so much unsung work across the county. Lovely lady, really nice. Straight away you're at ease, very pleasant. Were you a bit nervous? Very. <laughs> I don't know if I was shaking through nerves or the cold. <laughs> yeah, it's been a fantastic day. I don't think anybody that volunteers for anything does it for accolades. You know, you do it because of the love of what you do. But today just makes it a bit special. Earlier, the royal couple had started their visit at the recently refurbished Annick Youth Hostel, where they unveiled a plaque after meeting project workers on a whistle-stop guided tour. The castle was next on the itinerary, and from there it was on to the beautiful Annick Gardens, where the Duchess of Northumberland had thrown a giant garden party. Here, the Queen met carers like Stan Cook, who's been looking after his autistic son for nearly 30 years. I'm absolutely thrilled and uh, I mean I, I'm of an age that I've known the Queen all my life and, and to actually meet her and um, have this recognition is really thrilling, it's absolutely fabulous. Marion Clark is also a full-time carer for her husband Hugh. She asked what I did and who I cared for and said that Carers Northumberland was a wonderful organisation. The Queen and the Dukes certainly went out with a bang. Their walkabout through the centre of Annick, stopping and chatting to people over the barriers, sent a last surge of excitement right through the heart of the town. 